I'm Michael Elliott. And our next guest is Tom Taylor, VP of Advanced Strategy for Verizon Telematics. Welcome. So for those of you who have been following the connected car space, I was uh, a part of Hughes Telematics. We were a relatively small company until two and a half years ago and were acquired by Verizon. We're now part of the Verizon family. And so Mike, one of the things that's really cool about that is now that we're, we're bringing together the mobile phone world and the connected car world. And that's a pretty new, different thing that's happening. So how is, how is Verizon involved with that? I mean, how, how are you making that happen? So one of the things that we're doing is that we're bringing all of our connected car services and features and location abilities into a much larger space. So one of the things Verizon's really good at is cloud platforms and securities mm -hmm. and things like that. So you hear a lot of talk about in the internet of things that we're moving to the cloud. So what's really neat now is a big wireless carrier company that has huge cloud capabilities is moving into the connected car, the internet of things space space in a real services way. So is that then via partnerships that you're enabling or how, how are you making that work? All right, so uh, we are a fully owned Verizon company and we are a services company in the automotive space. So some of the services we provide is we provide telematic services to car makers, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Nissan. So for example, Michael, I know you drive a Mercedes-Benz, so if you ever were in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever were in an accident and the airbag deployed and you were knocked unconscious, the car automatically places a call to an emergency responder and our call center agents figure out what's going on and they send a uh, emergency responder to your exact location, your exact mm -hmm. GPS location. So those are the services that we've been doing for a little while. And now what we're doing is we're moving that into the much larger connected lifestyle space because of the breadth of where Verizon can bring real cloud and platform capabilities. Okay, so shifting <coughs> gears a little bit, you know, one of our pet peeves is parking spaces. Especially, you know, we're here in Vegas, forget about parking anywhere. You know, what are you doing kind of in, in line with you know, helping consumers be able to recognize some of the benefits of those types of things? So one of the things that we've been trying to do for a while is to use mobile phones to help us with parking. And one of the difficulties is the mobile phone location is just, it's really not that good unless you have GPS turned on all the time. And if you have GPS on your phone turned on all the time, it drains your battery. Mm -hmm. So one of the great things about the connected car is we have GPS location plugged into the car, running on the car battery. So essentially you always have great location. Right. So what that allows us to do now is to put together some new services where I'm driving around in a city and then I can get notifications potentially into the car on my head unit or or to my mobile phone about where a parking space is opening up, where there's uh, parking spaces available and parking lots nearby and that kind of thing, so that I can get to parking spaces more efficiently. Because one of the things, Michael, that's really surprising is, is that in busy times in urban cities, about 30% of the traffic is just you and I driving around looking for a place to park. Wow. And if you and I could find a place to park faster, traffic would go down. That's pretty cool. That's, 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 well, yeah, I, sign me up, please. <laughs> <laughs> so let's shift gears and go into more, what about like package delivery and how, how that, those type of applications can work in that space? So another big problem in the smart city world is all those trucks driving around trying to deliver packages. So one of our business area groups is what we call network fleet. We're in the fleet management business. Uh, it's typically local vehicles uh, delivering fleet around. And what we've been doing is providing better and better services for them to know how to do routing, how to figure out traffic, how to go from A to B most effectively to you get your package faster, you get your services faster, and we reduce traffic inside the city, making the city a smarter place. And, and then I imagine ultimately there'll be a tie into knowing you know, not only them getting the package to me, the package arrived, where the, you know, a lot more information Absolutely. can continue to right. flow from there. Yep. Excellent. Next question I have is really around this technology seems to be leading us towards this concept of the autonomous car. Uh -huh. Is that something you could elaborate on? Sure. And if you've walked around CES at all, you'll see there's a big push to the autonomous car. The car makers are doing a lot of technology space there. Everybody's really excited about it. And one of the things that's interesting, if you think about the autonomous car, that kind of implies that it does everything itself. Mm -hmm. But actually, the autonomous car will be the most connected car because it's going to be sending all kind of information up into the cloud to go 
figure things out. Because let's say there mm -hmm. is an autonomous car and you want to get a ride here from the Sands over to the main convention center, you got to go know where that car is, it's got to know where you are, you got to go connect up in the cloud, all that kind of stuff. So that's one thing that could happen, but it, the, the, uh, the areas of the autonomous car are so broad that's just really exciting. So potentially for your parents or grandparents that are aging, that maybe they're not so comfortable driving around in situations mm -hmm. now, they could get a car, pick them nice. up, and take them somewhere and go get groceries. That would be pretty cool. Absolutely. <laughs> So, next question, geofencing. How often and will that occur? What are you seeing around that? So, geofencing is one of the things that we do a lot as one of our services. So, those of you who are not familiar with it, geofencing basically means just a virtual fence on a map that tells you whether uh, something is inside or outside. So, imagine a geofence around your home. So, now we think about the connected car, connected home. What does that mean? So, this would be kind of cool. Every time I leave my home, I go through a geofence and my car then talks to the cloud, cloud talks to the house, and they communicate and they say, yep, Tom, you're the last one. And again, it's a Monday morning, you forgot to change the thermostat, you forgot to set the security alarm, and you left the coffee machine and on. Exactly, right? yep, exactly. It happens all the time. Yep. And so the car and the house talk to each other and they then uh, uh, kind of uh, inform me of some things and, and things happen for me in a good way. And so you can think about uh, geofence is a way of doing location services in let's call it the rings of stuff. So I can do another geofence idea where I'm coming home. It's a cold winter's day, so I'm now 15 minutes away from home and I turn on the heater so that the house starts to warm up, right. right? And when I get five minutes away, maybe I now turn on my audio system so, you know, music is playing that I like <laughs> when I walk in. So when I get into my house, my house is kind of waiting for me. And the reason it does that is because of this, what we call geofence technology. It knows I'm coming in and it knows where I am. So last question. When will it be here? Oh, well, some of these services we do today, uh, the uh, emergency service that I described in Mercedes-Benz that we do today, we do a lot of geofence services to, to today, uh, a lot of the fleet things we do today. Autonomous car is not quite here yet. It's uh, 2020 kind of thing, but you're going to see pieces of that going forward. So probably next year at CES, you may be able to get to drive in an autonomous vehicle <laughs> in, in Las Vegas traffic and some other things. So it, it's a really exciting time because we're seeing the connected lifestyle really coming together now. Excellent, well thank you for joining us very much, Tom. Greatly appreciate your input and your insight. All right, delighted.